everyone, my name is Tara from Meet the Makers and I'm here at Superior Paint Co. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way how to apply your top coat sealer by hand. So come on into our furniture refinishing shop and let's get sealing. So you're probably wondering what's the fastest, easiest way to apply top coat? And the answer is our top coat applicator kit. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to apply it and I'm going to include a few hot tips at the end, so make sure to stay tuned. Now if you're wondering how I got this finish on the beautiful table, um, I will post a link right here to watch the video. So let's get started sealing. First off, inside your top coat applicator kit is your applicator cloth, an applicator bottle, a storage bag, and also a sanding pad. Of course you need your sealer and then your applicator bottle. So what you do is you put your top coat in here. So I have semi-gloss top coat and I've left about a pinky finger depth and I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water. Now distilled water is your friend when it comes to applying sealer because it'll slow down the dry time and let it self level. So I'll just apply a little bit in the container here. And once it's filled up to the top, I'll put the bottle on. And you want to give it just a light shake just so that the water and the sealer combine. And then all I need to do is just lightly dampen this rag. Now what you want to do is you want to fold your rag into a pad. What I like to do is I will actually fold in the ridges. Um, that's really important because you don't want the lines to transfer. And then you want to saturate your cloth with the top coat here. So when I apply it, I just go from one end to another and heavily saturate the cloth. Okay. Next part, you want to massage the product in so you don't get a heavy area. Now you'll notice I'm overlapping slightly. Now you'll notice I'm going to keep loading my cloth over and over. And after a while, you'll notice your cloth will start feeling a little bit heavy. And you know it's good and saturated with sealer. So the nice thing about applying it this way is one, it's really fast. And two, it leaves a nice even thin coat. You don't have to worry about brush strokes. You don't have to worry about drips or runs. And that's it. So basically, I'll let this dry for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. I'll give it a feel. If it feels tacky, I know that it's still drying. Once it's no longer tacky, I can apply a second coat. I let it dry up overnight. Um, it's good and dry. So what I'm going to do is take my sanding pad here and just give it a light sanding. Now you kind of want to do like a wax on, wax off kind of feel. And then make sure to lightly get your edges. 
You don't want to sand too hard or else you'll sand down past the sealer. I'm using a fresh, clean Wonder Rag. Now, if you don't have a Wonder Rag at home, um, you can use a clean, brand new microfiber cloth or a tack cloth also works really great. Now, I'm gonna apply one more coat of sealer. Now, because this sat overnight, I'll give it a light shake just to make sure it's not separated. Now when you're applying this, make sure not to go over a freshly applied area. Like I wouldn't want to go back over this. You want to just let it dry. Okay, so the final coat is on. It's dry to touch. I'm going to let it cure up for about a week until I move it into its proper home. Um, a couple tips I wanted to include is to make sure that you store your cloth in the bag sealed up. Um, you don't want to leave it lying around because dust particles can fall into it and then you're just going to transfer it onto your dried piece of furniture. So don't, don't, don't leave this line out. Another hot tip is to label your bottle. If you're mixing between plaid and semi-gloss, make sure to put on here semi-gloss so you don't get them mixed up. Now we do have the kits available online. I'll post a link to all of the products I used in this video in the description box below. So we've made it to the end and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for new videos coming every Friday. Bye bye for now.